Neighbors in Baton Rouge are demanding an end to high speed police chases after another one resulted in a major crash yesterday. It sent an innocent bystander hit by the officer to the hospital after he crashed into her car. The investigative unit and Chris Nakamoto break down the costly price of bad driving. Sylvia Michael, you the taxpayer, shelling out hundreds of thousands of dollars after police caused at least 13 crashes resulting in settlements during the past two years. Tonight, neighbors who live near where the city's latest wreck happened are furious and want answers. Wednesday afternoon, it happened again. This mangled black Honda crushed. Baton Rouge police say their officer hit the car as he was chasing a suspect in a black Mercedes. The suspect driving that Benz managed to run away. Neighbors, too nervous to show their face, had no problem talking about the videos they filmed. Yep, I'm having an awesome time. And their horror at what they saw in the Honda. I thought she was dead. I was scared. I thought I was walking up to the car and he told me don't touch the car. He told me don't uh, touch nothing. They also had serious concerns about what police told them at the scene. They told me don't record and I told them I can do what I want. 80 year old Nellie Simmons was walking on Shelley Street outside the house she's called home for 50 years. I was walking and I could see him way back down that street. The crash sent her to the hospital. She says the cars raced by her, just missing her, startling her and sending her to the ground while she took her daily stroll. My legs start acting up. The WBRZ investigative unit pulled numbers from crashes caused by Baton Rouge police for 2021 and 2022. Over that time frame, you've shelled out $354,000 in settlements approved by the East Baton Rouge Parish Metro Council. $190,000 this year alone, and $164,000 last year. Their bad driving raising big questions for people who live where the latest wreck occurred. They don't care. Our neighborhood, we live like in a, a comeback zone. You know, if they can't, if people want to smoke weed or whatever they want to do, that's their business. Why would he run behind one person and jeopardize everybody else? People were in harm's way and he didn't give a damn. Neighbors say they were out here watching as teams of officers showed up, trying to blame the crash on the man who got away. They were out here, maybe 20, 25 of them was out here yesterday. Everybody conspiring in a circle talking, but ain't nobody getting down. Everybody wants you to lie and say the police didn't run the light. The stop sign, yes he did. Yes he did. Yes he did. We asked Baton Rouge police if the officer involved was placed on leave and what his status is. We did not hear back. He received minor injuries from the crash. Michael.